today's Food for Thought comes from the 20th chapter of Matthew's Gospel, verses 14 and 15, which reads, Take your pay and go. I want to give the one who was hired last the same as I gave you. Don't I have the right to do what I want with my own money? Or are you envious because I am generous? One of the grave dangers for those who are open to faith in the Lord and believe in him is the lingering of the worldly doctrine that's been ingrained within us since we were little. I can remember when I was growing up and how we as children, we were seemingly taught about how great it would be to be rich. Some of us, we grew up doing chores around the house so that we can get an allowance to be able to add funds to our piggy banks. Yet as children, we learned the way of envy. We learned the way of covetous and greed. We, we began to not appreciate whatever it was that we had gained or whatever it was that was given to us by our parents. On that note, many of us today, we bring the way of envy. We bring the way of covetous and greed. We bring it into our relationship with the Lord. And I tell you today that this is a terrible habit that we must break. God, he blesses us and he blesses us over and over and over again. Yet many of us, we fail to appreciate all that the Lord has done for us and all that he has given to us as we expect for him to give us more and more and better and better. Yet in God's eyes, his blessings, they are all the same. There is no difference. And honestly, I tell you, it took me a long time to come to understand that the blessings of God, the blessings that he has given to me, they are just as unique as the blessings that he has given to someone else. So to envy what others have received would be to despise what God has done for us. Let us not become envious of what others have received from the Lord. God gives and he gives to all liberally. I want you to today appreciate what the Lord has given to you. What he has given to you was given to you out of love. <music>